Welcome back. America's mental health crisis is growing, and it is especially affecting our nation's parents and their children. As we approach the end of May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month, we want to remind families that help is out there. Joining us live with an opportunity for parents to get some advice and support is Cassidy Quinn with the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI. Cassidy is with NAMI's Washington County branch. Good morning. Good morning, Emily. Good to see you. And this is a great thing to close out Mental Health Awareness Month with. You've got an event uh, coming up this weekend really focused on parents. Why focus your attention on, on parents right now? So we know that, I mean, a lot of us are struggling, whether you're a kid, whether you're a parent, whether you don't have any kids, a lot of us are struggling. And we know specifically youth are struggling. We're in the middle of a youth mental health crisis. And mm -hmm. how do we figure out how to support our youth? Maybe we figure out, we help our parents figure out how to support their kids or any parent in the community, any adult in the community. If we could all just know what to say when a young person is struggling, if they come to us for support, if we could really know how to support them through that and know maybe a little bit of what they need, then we can really end up with much better outcomes for all the youth in yeah. our community. It sounds like a great approach. So tell us about this parenting and mental health event. It's happening this weekend in Hillsboro. Give us the details. Yeah, coming up this Saturday in Hillsboro, like you said, we're finishing off Mental Health Awareness Month. It'll be on June 3rd. So we almost got it into Mental Health Awareness Month, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. It's always a good time to learn about mental health. So it's a whole morning, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., where parents and really any adults, if you are a teacher, you are a coach, you are any adult that ever interacts with a kid, which is basically all of us, come and get, learn about some resources that are available for you, that are available for the youth. And we're really talking about school age youth. So how mm -hmm. to start some of those conversations. We will actually hear presentations, some talks from young adults who have struggled with various mental health challenges. We'll hear talks and stories from some parents who have really been through it with their own kids. And then we'll also have local mental health professionals. Like since we're focusing on Hillsboro this time, we will have some local Hillsboro school counselors, other therapists in the area there to answer questions on a panel. So adults can really just get in there and ask what they want to know. Yeah, that's great. I think, you know, for for a lot of folks, you know, uh, in older generations, having these conversations about mental health is difficult. So even just to have uh, a volunteer or someone with lived experience there, a speaker who can help kind of give people the tools to, to how to have those conversations, I think is really important. What are the things that you hope people take away from this event? Yeah, one big one is just the fact that talking about it can really be a good thing. I know you know this, Emily, just like you said, I yeah. definitely know this, but sometimes it can be really hard to know if someone is struggling around you, okay, do I say something? Like, let's say when it comes to the, the topic of suicide, one thing we really try to get across in everything we do at NAMI is talking about it won't put the idea in someone's head. Bringing up a mental health struggle won't make it real. It right. just makes it something that we can actually talk about and we can't actually do anything about it until we're talking about it and just aware that it's going on. So that's one big thing, just breaking down the stigma, actually talking. And then another big topic that always comes up, because this is a series of events that we've been doing, is what to do when your kid doesn't want to go to school. If they're too anxious, they're too depressed, they don't want to be there for whatever reason. Uh, what to do when your kid doesn't want to go to therapy, doesn't want to seek treatment, how to have some of these conversations with your kids, mm -hmm. um, and really just, just also getting the community together, getting other adults in the same room to go, hey, you live in Hillsboro, your kid is struggling, what are you doing? And just getting these conversations really going and knowing what local resources are available too. Sure, and I oh, do want to mention one thing you're doing differently for this event, um, oh, just yeah. to help improve some accessibility. It's also gonna be translated in Spanish. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. Thanks for asking about that. So we've been wanting to do this for a while. We want to make these events, they're all free, first of all. We want to make them accessible for as many people as possible. So finally, this time, we are going to have Spanish interpretation. So for anyone who that makes the event more accessible for, they we will have headsets available for free once again. Uh, and so it will be offered in both English and Spanish as well. So we're excited to be able to do that. I want to make sure that everyone can have some of those conversations. Cass, good to talk with you. It's a really important topic. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. 
Yeah, thank you. And Hope of to course, see everyone there on Saturday. Yes, it's going to be a great event. Uh, and of course, if you can't make it out to Saturday's event, NAMI, Washington County has a lot of resources uh, for parents, for families. But again, the parenting and mental health free event happening this Saturday, June 3rd in Hillsborough from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Orenco Elementary School. You can go to washconami.org to learn more. As Cass mentioned, it is free, uh, but you do want to register ahead of time, especially if you are hoping for one of those headsets uh, to have it translated in Spanish. Register online right now. It's